Welcome, ladies and gentlemen. All right, let's get in this. All right, um, so ladies, ladies and gentlemen, this is a general reading um, for the quarter, and we are going to be going and looking at what is coming up at this quarter to find out what is it that we really need to expect in this quarter okay so um it is going to be a quarter with three the empress okay it's going to be a quarter where the empress there is a situation that is going to be three body mind and soul the energy of the empress um, this is the energy of the quarter, all right? So whenever we have uh, um, the energy of the quarter, what we are understanding is the three specific things um, that is going to be coming up and the months that they're going to be coming up. I think we have gone through all of the most horrific uh, things um in the quarter so um that is good we have uh, the lovers wheel of fortune and uh, um balance is going to be coming out so um the hermit uh, so we have balance uh, and uh, okay so we're going to be going in and checking out so um, the Wheel of Fortune, and we have Balance. So, ladies and gentlemen, I, I, I did this over the camera um, so you guys can see how I basically, basically does the quarter, which is um, very important. All right, so what we have is the energy of the Empress. And the energy of the Empress is showing up for you guys. And I got a um, place to light. Um, the energy is showing up of the Empress, okay? So I'm going to be just moving away a little, a little bit, okay, in order. So here we go. So... What is happening and what is transpiring is that with the energy of the Empress, it is number three. And the energy of the Empress is pulling in a lot of alignment of energies to come in where it's all about the, the period of balance that is going to be coming in. And this is going to be a mother energy. Okay. We have the energy of a mother energy that is happening, that is transpiring. A lot of you are going to be recognizing that you're really dealing with um, materialistic stability, creativity. Um, it is going to be very, very good. So um, that is wonderful um, what is transpiring. Now, the sequence of three is about um, creativity, mother energy, that sort of a thing. It is wonderful. It is transpiring. It is a time when we're going to be understanding a lot of major aspects that is going to be coming in. And this is going to be God. So um, aliving and balancing um, with the energies, we're going to be recognizing that the Empress is going to be playing a significant role in everyone's life, man or male, uh, woman or um, um male or female um it is going to be very very important okay so let's put her there because she's going to be watching over this quarter now the first energy in this quarter is the wheel of fortune and this energy this is for the month of april the month of april is the energy of the wheel of fortune this is powerful because it affects everyone 
So the energy of the Wheel of, of, of Fortune is coming in in a really powerful energy. The Wheel of Fortune is very, very substill. It is uh, um, uh, past issues coming back. Uh, um, your wealth, looks, and stability. Now, these two together expect some sort of unexpected money to be coming in. This is going to be good. Money is returning to you. Money that was owed to you is going to be returning to you. And this is going to be good. So this is a positive, positive energy. When we go um, to the month of uh, um, May, we have the energy of the lovers, which is a really wonderful. This is a very good quarter. Um, this is about love. This is about new contract. This is about new um people new coming in your life it's about uh, your marriage it's about uh, your kids it's about your parents it's about um you know loving yourself uh, whenever this energy of love comes in it's very very powerful use this energy because it's going to be aligning you with so much wonderful alignment of energy so use it okay and that's in may as we look at uh, June, you have balance. You have the energy of balance coming in. Some people call this the energy of the Sagittarian, but it's actually the energy of the Virgos. And this brings balance into a lot of people's life. These are major arcana, and they're going to be working with every, every one. All right, so this is good. So now that we have that, so this quarter is all about... Um, the materialistic um, aspect of ourself is about the modern aspect of ourself, which is uh, extremely, extremely good. It's going to be extremely powerful. So be aligned, be ready for what is coming up and understand where you are, where you're sitting, what is transpiring in your world. All right. So let's break these months down and see what is transpiring. So in the month of April, we have the Wheel of Fortune with a corporation institution. So a lot of you could be having issues, problems returning um, to you that you're dealing with a corporation institution that you need to resolve. OK, and this is going to be returning in the month of April. So um, this could be a whole company that you have dealt with some sort of an issue, some sort of a problem. It is the Taurus energy, but you're going to be very, very successful. Whatever that is returning, um, it could be a bank that is returning a whole lot of money that was stolen from you. It could be um, just, you know, airfinance that should have been paid out, uh, um, that should have been returned to you. Name it, whatever the energy is. Whatever the situation is, you're going to be very, very successful in the month of May. Okay, anything to do with business, corporation, institution in the month of May, you're going to be very, very successful. Then we are looking at um, um, May. Um, you're going to be victoriously um, having some sort of a new start. Um, this new start is going to be very good because people are going to be recognizing um, that there was some sort of a confusion. There's going to be a new start coming in, a wonderful positive alignment of energy with new start that is coming in. That is going to be helping a lot of you. Some of you, you could be deciding to move in with someone, buy a house with someone, um, recreate something with someone, merge with someone. This is going to be good. It is a yes. So the other energy that we have is that secrets is going to be coming out. Some of you, you could be um, finding out some sort of a secrets about your partner, your kids or your family um, and uh, some sort of a secret contract. People are recognizing it and seeing the truth that there was some sort of a secret contract that was made. Um, this is like identity theft and people are going to be finding it out in May. It could be coming out before. So um, secrets, um, whatever um, that was um, hold some sort of a secrecy that was old in a corporation institution is going to be coming out. So um, that is showing up there. Um, so that is good. When we look at the month of June, balance is coming in and you're going to be victoriously successful over whatever issues, problems that was created, the energy of balance and you moving forward, uh, being victorious and successful is going to be extremely good. And I see a tower moment is going to be ending whatever secrecy there was and whatever secrecy people were holding. A towel moment is coming in to reveal 
um, the secrecy and you're going to be overcoming the deceptive uh, work of other people outside influences the blocks you are going to be ending this and this is going to be God remember this is the general reading ladies and gentlemen it is the general reading so you have to be aware of that so I see whatever issues that a lot of you are going to be having within a corporation institution whatever issues um that were going to be coming up or that is going to be coming up um you are going to be successful a lot of you um some sort of an unseen situation that was transpiring is going to be revealed um you're going to be recognizing um the play of some sort of a situation that was transpiring people are going to be seeing the truth and understanding some sort of unfair games that was uh, um, transparent in a corporation institution. Um, this is going to be good. So April has to do with a corporation institution, but yet still you're going to be successful. So it could be a situation at the workplace. You're definitely going to be successful. Um, the Wheel of Fortune bring back some sort of a information and some sort of a issues that was blocking you. These blocks are going to be ending in the month of April. Okay, so expect your booming, blazing up and uh, taking down something that was transpiring, something that was happening in April. You're going to be really removing whatever the issues, the problems that people had created. You are going to be lifting this and removing it away from you. And this is going to be God. As we look at May, May has the energy of uh, some sort of a contract in a corporation institution. It's a yes. You're going to be victorious and successful. Um, there was some sort of a problem and now you successfully overcome this. I see some sort of a new start. A lot of you who are looking for jobs, this is going to be God. Then we see the information of the magician and, um, and, and some sort of a secret that a Gemini or a couple was holding is going to be coming out. So um, whatever secrets a Gemini or a couple, a Gemini or a Cancer or a couple was holding, it is going to be coming out. A lot of you are going to be finding out some sort of a secrecy that a corporation institution was holding and was creating and had some sort of a secret contract. And now people are going to be recognizing. In the month of June, you have the energy of balance. And with the energy of balance, what we're seeing is that you're going to be victoriously overcoming um, some sort of a situation. You're balancing and victoriously overcoming some sort of a situation that is going to be bringing you a lot of success. Success is here. And this is uh, the major corner bringing a lot of people um, success, overcoming some sort of obstacles, issue, um, things that people had created you are going to be successfully overcoming this and people are going to be recognizing um, that, you know, the play they were doing is not really happening for you because you're going to be overcoming the situation. So balance come in. You're overcoming some sort of an issue in a corporation institution. You're going to be victorious. And again, the tower moment came down in the first week, but also in the month of June, releasing some sort of a secrecy that was held in a corporation institution and taking down some sort of a barriers that was created. And this is going to be good. So the Empress is going to be governing this period, whatever is happening, whatever is transpiring. The Empress is definitely, definitely is going to be governing this period. So the Empress is standing up and protecting you while you go through some sort of a um, unhealthy place that was transpiring. All right. So let's go and see um, the secrets on there. Um, these energies that is transpiring. What is the secrets on the, this energy? So with the energy of the Wheel of Fortune in the month of April is emotion, emotion. Something is coming back from the past that is going to be affecting the future. Some sort of an emotional situation is going to be coming back in April. Um, then we see in the organization institution information about the past in an organization institution is going to be coming in where a lot of you are going to be receiving a whole lot of money that was held from a corporation institution. They're going to be recognizing um, that people had took money on the false pretend a long time ago and never paid out some money that was supposed to pay out. I see that you're going to be receiving the message in 
um, the month of um, April. Then the success is that a lot of you are going to be having success if you have business or you're traveling overseas or some sort of a situation, some sort of a successful event is going to be coming in in the month of April, some sort of a business, some sort of a new offer, some sort of a travel situation. So it could be vaccine. That sort of a situation is going to be coming in. It is going to be absolutely, absolutely fabulous and good. So April is really looking good. I do love the energies of April for you guys. It is going to be um, really, really positive. It is about bringing back some sort of information that was transparent. So emotional situation, a whole lot of you are going to be finding out some sort of a information that a corporation and institution that held something to do with a lot of money, and it is all going to be coming out. Let's look at the lovers in the month of May. The energy of the lovers in the month of May is that there was some sort of a secret contract and people are going to be recognizing that people created some sort of a secret contract and it is all going to be coming out. The maze is going to be resolved. They're going to be resolving and recognizing that there was a um, unstable situation where there was a lot of secrecy around a couple, a lot of secret contract, a lot of secrecy um, with your parents, a lot of secrecy with your partners, a lot of secrecy around your kids, um, some sort of a, a secrecy of um, those people in your life. Then we see the mask. The mask is now off. The mask is now off. People are now recognizing that a lot of people in a corporation institution was wearing some sort of a mask. The mask is now off. People are recognizing the energy of the magician. Bring off the mask and show up that a lot of people in corporation institution had a whole lot of mask up and people are now recognizing and seeing the truth of who these people are and what was happening and transpiring. And this is going to be extremely, extremely good. Then as we move forward, we are looking at the secrecy and I see an end is coming to the secrecy. So the eye princess um, is here bringing some sort of an end to secrecy that was going on. And um, a lot of you are going to be finding out a whole lot of information that you were not aware of and that there was a lot of secrecy around you. And this is going to be ending in the month of May. So yay, yay, yay. Yay, yay, yay. All right, so let's look at uh, June. Balance, balance in relationship, balance with your kids, balance with your um, mother and father. Balance is going to be coming in um, in the month of June. Um, we have the energy of balance with uh, um, your soulmate, twin flame. So there's a lot of situation that is going to be affecting marriage couple or couples on a whole, a whole long situation is going to be affecting them. So be aware of this. Um, understand what is happening and transpiring around you because you're recognizing that if you were having some sort of a um, unbalanced situation with relationship, couples, that sort of a thing, um, truth is going to be revealed. A whole lot of information is going to be coming out. And I see a whole lot of people are going to be very happy about uh, um, healing a situation between you and your sisters and brother, you and your family member, you and your parents, you and your husband, you and your soulmate, twin flame, balance is going to be coming in. When we have the energy of the chariot, a new start is going to be coming in, a whole new start is going to be coming in, people are going to be understanding, people are going to be making sure that they create their own new world for themselves. This is going to be absolutely, absolutely fantastic. This is going to be good. A lot of people are going to be aligning with the right energies and understanding some sort of an unfair situation that was transpiring is going to be coming in and giving a lot of you a new start in the month of June. The last energy we have, the tower. Yes, twice the energy of the sun is going to be a powerful, powerful extremely powerful quarter ladies and gentlemen it's going to be extremely powerful the tower is breaking down something that was affecting a whole lot of you whatever the tower 
whatever that was affecting a whole lot of you, the tower is going to be taking it down. The tower is going to be breaking it down. The tower is coming in to remove all blockages and bring back uh, um, happiness and joy, giving a lot of you a new start in your world. And this is going to be really wonderful and powerful. So congratulations, some of you. Um, who were dealing with trying to get pregnant, that sort of a thing. It's definitely going to be happening. If you were doing UV and that sort of a thing, it is definitely going to be happening. There is a, absolutely um, no question about this. Um, it is going to be good. There is a, no question. Um, just understand whatever that you want. Ask the universe. The universe is going to be opening up a lot of doors for a lot of you guys so that you can recognize what is happening. Um, Taurus, Virgo and Capricorn women, it is going to be a good period. Um, men and women, hurt sign people, this quarter is going to be a good quarter for you earth sign people. Whatever that was happening and transpiring, a whole lot of you are governed um, by uh, the Empress and this is going to be opening up a whole lot of doors, a whole lot of situation for a whole lot of you guys, okay? So this is going to be wonderful. Wheel of Fortune, um, um, what April, uh, Taurus is, uh, a lot of people, um, is going to be having a whole lot of luck in April. Uh, April is a very lucky month this year. Whatever is transpiring in April is going to be a very, very lucky month this year. And they're going to be recognizing that. Okay. April is a very, very lucky month. The Wheel of Fortune is, uh, Bringing back something for a lot of you. So, um, where to look for the effect in this quarter? Um, we are looking at the Aquarians. There is no energy for you Aquarians. Um, so, uh, be alert that, uh, May is going to be good because that's the month of the Gemini. Gemini's, a lot of secrets is going to be coming out about you Gemini's a lot of information Gemini's they're going to be recognizing um, that you Gemini's carry a mask um, so be aware of that aware of that uh, secrecy is coming out in May so Gemini's it is your month be aware because in the month of May there is a maze and that people were wearing a mask and it is Gemini the month of May is uh, Taurus Gemini so be aware Taurus and Gemini, be aware of the month of May. Um, then we see the Virgos. Then we see the Leos. I see a tower moment. And with this tower moment, whatever is happening at the end uh, in the month of June, whatever is happening, let it go. Because as you let that go, um, the sun is going to be bringing you back a whole lot of stability. So a squatter is a quarter where... Um, a corporation institution and some sort of a couple, uh, some sort of a contract that some of you were dealing with, you're going to be victoriously, successfully overcoming whatever was happening, whatever that was transpiring. I see the secrecy are, have now come out. A whole lot of secrets have now come out. And a lot of you are going to be feeling uh, happy that these secrets came out. The Wheel of Fortune is bringing back some sort of a balance and is ending some sort of a problem that was happening and transpiring. Um, this um, quartal is a quartal. If you decide to do anything, go for it. It is going to be a yes. So definitely what we see is something from the past is coming back where people were trying to um, find out there was a maze and people were trying to find out, you know, um, there was a whole lot of contract, a whole lot of same names and that sort of a thing. And I see that this is going to be coming to an end. A transition is going to be coming in. A new start is going to be coming in for, for a whole lot of you because uh, changes is coming in. And a lot of you could be traveling. A lot of you um, could be thinking about travel, dreaming about travel and want to create some sort of a transition for you or your partner, your family. It is going to be happening. And I see a lot of you in the month of June could be meeting your soulmate or twin flame. So look out for this. A lot of you could be meeting your soulmate or twin flame in the month of June. And this is going to be good. All right, ladies and gentlemen, let's see what other energies is going to be coming out for you guys. 
Yes, the energy of the magician and the mirror. This is a good portal with the energy of the magician and the mirror. Coming in with the energy of the empress is going to be absolutely fabulous. There is no question about this. This is just going to be absolutely fabulous. Um, whatever that was happening and transpiring, this is going to be good. It is going to be bringing you some new sort of alignment of energy that is going to be coming in and transpiring for you guys. It is going to be creating a whole lot of um, um, new possibilities for you. It's as if your, um, your help, help is going to be coming in that is going to be moving you and bringing you in a higher elevation in your world and in your life. And this is going to be very, very positive. So, um, congratulations, ladies and gentlemen. Um, number 53 is eight. Number 53 is eight. It is going to be a really positive timeline. Number 53 is eight is going to be good. A very, very positive uh, timeline. What we see here is like issue situation from the past is coming back in order to resolve itself. And it's going to be ending in a very, very positive note. Please remember um, to go look at your own um, reading and um, the extended of these reading, you will find them. But um, these are the general reading. Go look for your specific reading. And I am saying namaste until next time.